Hey, gorgeous Gemini, it's CJ from CJ Soul Messages here, and we are going to do a reading for you for the new moon in Libra that is coming up right around the corner. I hope you're doing really well. Um, obviously, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, so just take what does and let the rest go. Um, and I've already meditated and worked with my guides and angels to get the initial cards out and then we'll dive deeper with some clarifiers. But we're just going to start and get in here because uh, for some Geminis out there, it looks like there's been some really painful things that have been happening. And there's a feeling of wanting to walk away. There's a feeling of uh, just anguish, anger, uh, a feeling of this combative kind of energy, which it feels like someone is trying to win at whatever cost. Um, we had the full moon in Gemini out of the moon moonology deck pop out. And this card speaks, and it's actually like Gemini. So it's full moon. It's your full moon. And it speaks of um, the answers you are needing will be coming. But we're going to go into a little bit more depth about the energy of this card because you are the air sign and you are very great at communicating and you have great stories to share. You are fun loving and your energy is kind of intoxicating. This card has the feeling with it, though, that when there's been arguments and there's been heartbreak, it can be very easy to turn our tongue into a sword and and cut with it. Uh, it's so important though here to recognize that, you know, uh, your words are your wand. Careful where you point your words uh, because they can leave a lingering effect. I mean, when we are really heartbroken, or have been hurt so badly, uh, usually it is our response, human response, to lash out and to say some, can be some nasty things that at a later time we might look back and regret saying those. But once the words come out of our mouth, we cannot take them back. We can try and make amends for what we have said, but you know, words do cut deep. So my guides are asking you if this is resonating to keep that in mind while you are in this situation. And, you know, we have the, the Three of Swords that came out. So this can be for cross watchers as well, but I am reading it for Gemini. So if, if you are a cross watcher, just flip it around. But the Three of Swords came out and, you know, that is like really bad betrayal. It can speak of affairs. It can speak of, you know, just someone completely just betraying the hell out of you. And look at the anguish on her. She is just wrapped up in the pain that her heart is feeling. It's a really difficult energy to work through. Uh, but, you know, it is something that the majority of us have had to go through. We have the Ten of Wands, so there's been a lot of burdens that have been had to be carried and it has been exhausting and it's been a very long road and, you know, there's this feeling here in this reading that someone is walking away, someone is leaving, someone is leaving someone um, and it looks like they're taking everything that they have and they are just moving on moving on from the pain, moving on from the heartbreak, moving on from disloyal, disloyalty. Definitely have that feeling here. And we have the five of swords too. So there's been a hell of a lot of hard words that have been spoken. Communication has been really, really sharp. And the feeling is, is that someone is trying to win this battle at whatever cost it, it costs. Uh, so this is either you or the other person that might be involved here. Um, you know, this could be related to work. I mean, maybe you've been betrayed somewhere at work in your career. It, it, it can apply to all situations. Just take that energy and apply it. But someone has been really just all about winning. This, this 
person is holding their head in pain and overwhelmed, just can't take it anymore. And this person that's walking away has her hands up as in victory, as in saying, yay, okay, you know, I don't give a shit about how I've made you feel. It doesn't matter. So this is a pretty heavy energy that has come out. Interestingly enough, the new moon in Le or Libra is all about balance. And it is about, Libra is a fellow sign of yours, their air as well. And it is about communicating what you need to communicate in order to bring some kind of balance back to the situation or to yourself so that you can feel centered again within yourself. And I do get the distinct feeling that there is going to be a lot of communication here. Hence why it's really important to choose your words carefully. Even if you're in a lot of pain and someone has done something almost unforgivable, um, still try to remain that beautiful energy that you are, Gemini, and pick your words carefully because you don't need to ever stoop to the level of someone who has done you wrong because it might feel good in the moment but usually after it doesn't feel so good. So if you need to take some time and see things from a different point of view, maybe perhaps look at however you react or act to whatever news answers that may be coming your way. Maybe try to take a moment out so that you can see it from a different perspective before you say whatever it is you need to say so that you have no regrets in your future because we do have the hangman and that is what the hangman is all about is trying to see things from a different view so that you have a broader sense a broader picture of what you're you're dealing with or also a broader sense of where um where it's going to lead you so there is definitely this feeling that uh there's been a, a deep betrayal and someone's walking away that may be you um, or it may be the other person and you may just really be needing to get some deep clarity for yourself so that you can uh, free yourself from it and heal yourself. You know, we have to speak and talk about things even as uncomfortable as they may be to find some clarity in that, to get some answers. You know, the card, which is, you know, the full moon in Gemini is saying your answers are coming. So <clears throat> um, we're going to dive into this a little bit more, Gemini. But if you are in this situation, and I'm speaking to you, you know, take it nice and slow. And I'm so sorry that you are feeling this way or have been put in this position to feel this way. It's a tough one. It is. It's a real tough one. So, you know, um, you know, lots of hearts and hugs to you during this process. But a positive is that on the bottom of the deck was a chariot. And the chariot is the sign of cancer's card, which is our water. And the chariot, though, is a very powerful card in the way of once you get your clarity, once you get the answers that may be coming, it's like you kind of get back up and you get back almost like on you get on your bicycle and you start pedaling again and you you remember what it's like to be in control of your life again and you get very clear on what direction you want to go and I feel like that's what's going to happen for you Gemini uh, it's going to maybe be a, a painful process a slow process but to start with but I think once you're able to take a little bit of time and see things from a different view maybe Maybe think about like, how is this, this going to affect you a year from now? How can you move on from this and be wherever you want to be in a year and use that to motivate you to heal? Then this is going to go faster because a chariot isn't a slow card. It is a fast card. They are very, mo they move quite quickly and very purposeful, these horses. It also is a victory card. So at the end of the day, it looks like you are getting your victory for whatever this heartbreak is representing. So I'm going to start pulling some clarifiers now. Thank you, angels and guides, loved ones, ancestors, and our divine. Thank you so much.
Can you please offer me guidance in this reading for our beautiful Gemini for this new moon in Libra occurring on October 6th, 2021? Thank you so much. What has been happening and what is going on? What other messages? Please show me clearly. Two of Cups. Okay, so this is involving a relationship. Yeah, Two of Cups. Cups are our emotions, as I've said, but the Two of Cups is a relationship that was or is a balanced, healthy, harmonious, loving, compatible energy. Um, they're mirroring each other here. It's a beautiful energy when it is in when it is treated you know with respect and honesty and loyalty and all of those things whatever is important to you in a relationship but that is confirming for me that this is involving a love relationship a romantic committed relationship but it does feel like someone is walking away five of coins has come out yeah so someone's feeling really left left alone Oh, Gemini, my heart. So someone is feeling really alone, feeling really like just left, just completely abandoned, completely abandoned energy. Wow. Okay, so this feels like this is a breakdown for sure of a marriage or a deep committed relationship. Um... Not the most easiest reading to give, Gemini. Um, I'm sorry, but my heart feels heavy here. Um, you know, but there is going to be this change for you. You are going to get back on the horse and head into a direction that you want to go in. But this is going to be a little bit of heavy energy. <clears throat> so take good care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Just do all the things that bring you a bit of joy when you can because this is a this is a tough struggle I mean I've gone through I've gone through something like this very similar in my life and um, you know it was one of the toughest things I had to go through and I've gone through a lot of tough things in my life but this one was one of the hardest because I had a person walk out of my life that you know I I was blindsided and I had no clue and it was a very very hard hill to climb back up to get my independence again and to get to feel strong again in myself and even just to trust it was so hard but you can do it and we can get through it and there are lessons that we learn along the way I would say that if this is if this is resonating with you, oh, that's beautiful. If this is resonating with you, speak your truth. Say what it is that you need to say. Communicate what you need to communicate. And then try to let go. Try to release your burdens. Because the Ten of Wands is always speaking about this is as far as it needs to go now. You're at the Ten. It's done. It, the toughest part now is over. So speak your truth so that you can free yourself. And then, you know, beautiful card came out. It's the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, he is the most romantic card in this deck, really. He's in love with love. Um, you know, he can be a little bit naive, but he is in love with love. So I feel like this is speaking maybe in the past. Perhaps you were in love with love and in this relationship. And then someone really betrayed you and has left you. Um, and it has just caused your mind to swirl and your heart to just feel like it's bleeding. And that's a hard pill to swallow because if we're, if, if someone has been able to kind of trick us on that, you know, it's hard not to be even angry at ourselves for not seeing it, but you got to forgive yourself on that. And you got to know that you're going to be okay. You're going to have the victory at the end of it. You know, karma works in that way. What goes around comes around. It just does, good or bad. So Knight of Cups is also reminding you that, you know, don't not fall in love again. 
Don't be fearful to fall in love again when the timing is right, when it is totally right for you. Bottom of the deck right now is the King of Cups. So, you know, that is a beautiful, nurturing, parental energy, as well as being very emotionally stable and very loving, protective, and, you know, just a beautiful energy. So maybe this is someone, and it doesn't matter male or female, it's just the energy. Um, maybe this is what's around the corner for you. You know, once you are ready and feel like you can open yourself up again. Let's see. Is there anything else? I'm so grateful. Thank you. Anything else for Gemini? Wow. Oh, okay. I would normally take that, but that is a lot of cards. So we're going to put those back. Thank you so much. Please offer me guidance in this. Okay, that one wanted to flip. Seven of Coins. Okay, so Seven of Coins is reminding you to really, if this can help at all, um, to really look at that relationship um, and really see what were you putting in and what were you getting in return, if you're really honest with yourself. Were you getting what you were giving? If you were giving all your love, all your devotion, all of all of that, and you ended up getting betrayed, I think the answer is pretty clear is that no, you weren't. And you deserve better than that, Gemini. You just deserve much more than that. You deserve to get what you put in. All right. So I think this new moon energy of Libra tomorrow could be a really beautiful time if you can make some space or you have a moment. To just really kind of sit back, take take some time for yourself, gather all the things that you love, that make you feel good, and just really kind of start setting some new intentions for yourself. Because I do get the energy they are giving me is that someone is going to come into your life that is going to be the energy of the King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Could be anyone, but that was the card that was on the deck. Angels and guides, could you please give me one more card for maybe perhaps Gemini's near future? Oh, okay, they gave me a lot. So, but I'll, I'm going to take these ones. Okay, we've got the moon. So the moon is also trusting your intuition, but it is your subconscious. But it is what was hidden. What was it that was hidden here that you don't know, um, that you're not aware of? That needs to be addressed, and the answers will be coming, but it does need to be addressed. Okay, what do we got? Wow, <laughs> this is positive. Okay, Chariot, second time in this reading, Gemini. So you are going to be back in control here. You are. You're going to heal. You're going to get back in control, and you are going to be victorious, totally victorious. You have that twice now, two Chariots. <clears throat> You have the Five of Cups, except it's in reverse this time. So instead of feeling so sad or any of that, you that's being so sad, devastated, hurt beyond hurt, and just, you know, feeling just emotionally distressed. It's up right now. So this changes. You're no longer going to be feeling that way. You're no longer going to have that sadness anymore. And then you have the Page of Swords. Beautiful. Page of Swords speaks of a message coming in again. Swords are our, our mental, um, you know, our brain, <laughs> the things we think, speak, etc. You know, it's Gemini, it's you. But the page here um, is, you know, a new way of looking at things, a clear way of seeing things, a different way of starting to think. Uh, but it, I feel specifically there's messages coming in here. And I mean, that's the card that they gave me out of the deck, right? Your answers are coming soon. So I wouldn't be surprised if whoever did this to you, they're probably going to start trying to contact you um, for whatever reason. And, you know, I think you should just get on your chariot and go a different direction because the wheel of fortune has come out, but it is upside down. So when the wheel of fortune is upright, um, you know, depending on what cards it's around, 
it's usually a very positive card saying, you know, the, the tide is turning, everything positive is happening. But it did come out in reverse. So, and that was just when I was speaking about, I have this feeling that someone's going to come back, whoever this person is that hurt you, that they're going to try and message you and come back and try and get back into your life. But I feel like this card came out in reverse for a purpose to say, then you're going to go right back into that same cycle. So, you know, my advice would be, you have the chariot twice. It's victory twice. Really take a look at what, take a look at it and weigh the scale out, you know, perfect new moon energy to do that in. Um, but I can't lie to you, Gemini. I just distinctively feel like they don't, they, you have the five of cups in reverse, which is saying you're finally relieving yourself from that. You're, you're moving out of this painful situation and you're starting to um, heal from it and you're starting to kind of maybe open yourself up to the possibility of love again. But with the wheel in reverse, I feel like that's just going to kind of keep you stuck. So just be really careful with that energy if that person comes back, you know. Um, okay, let's see what's under there. Okay, so I don't know. I'm, oh, no, you're not. You're not going to take him back because the Six of Cups is under the moon. And the Six of Cups, Six of Swords, sorry, Six of Swords under the moon. This is moving away from all the crap. This is moving away. These people are in a boat. They don't know exactly where they're going but they don't care. They are leaving the shit behind and they are moving to calmer waters. So that is just confirming that I don't think you're going to open yourself up to this person anymore. And then the most beautiful thing that comes from under there is that keep faith. You're going to have a beautiful union. This is the 10 of cups. This is the relationship where it stands a test of time. This is a relationship where it is true, genuine, love for each other, compassion, kindness, loyalty, the person that you can trust with every single fiber that you have. That is coming. That is that is in your future if you so want it, Gemini. So a hard reading, but then a beautiful reading. And that is usually how life works, right? We go through the storms, but once we get through the storm, the sun shines on us again and the lessons and the pain that we have lighten and we can start to move on and we find more people, families, situations, relationships that are more of what we deserve and also what we give. A nice give and take. Not the seven of cup, the coins here, which was, I feel like you're putting too much into this. And they took advantage of it. They took advantage of you in some way, shape, or form. Someone took advantage of you. Took advantage of your kindness, your love, your generosity, your honesty, your loyalty. And, you know, they're going to get what is theirs and you are going to get your victory. Okay, so Gemini, with that, I'm going to uh, just pull a message out here and then we'll close this reading. Okay, that one just flipped right out. Listening. Okay, this is perfect. Now is the time to listen to your intuition. Slow down and quiet the mind chatter. Listen to your own words and ensure you are using positive language. When you hear others, make sure you really listen to what is being said. And remember to listen to more than just the words. Listen to your world with your heart. Wow. <clears throat> See, so look. This isn't going to be everyone's reading, but it's going to be someone's reading. And this is just summing up exactly what I was saying. I feel like they're going to try and come back. Listen to more than what they are saying. Actions speak louder than words. If there is no serious action behind what someone says, words are only letters put together. There's absolutely no meaning to it. So... If this person comes back into your life and they want to like make amends or they want to try again, I hope you really just protect yourself, protect your beautiful heart and listen with more than just your ears. Okay, Gemini, with that, I'm going to close this reading out. Thank you for watching and listening and liking and subscribing and commenting and all of that. I do really love you and appreciate you so much. 
So I wish you a beautiful new moon. Take some time out if you can and do all the things that make you feel good, whether that be as something as simple as having a bath or having a hot shower or reading a book or crawling up under a couch or up on a couch with a blanket, something that soothes you, soothes you and do something nice for you that will nurture you a bit through this process. Okay, with that, Gemini, a lot of love, love and light, many pe much peace for you, and take good care of yourself until next time.